Hey everyone, welcome back to Pajama Crafts where I do crafts in my pajamas. Today I have some really cute DIYs for you. The first one really means a lot to me because I use some of my grandma's old jewelry. Um, after she passed away, we went through some of her jewelry and I was able to make something out of it. So I think it turned out really beautiful. The pictures do not do it justice. Um, but let's get into the DIY. So I'm using this frame that Arteza sent me. They came in a four pack. I will leave the link down below along with a discount code for the items I'm using in this video. Um, and just for anything you want to use or get on their site. But I'm, I just took the contents out of the frame and I'm pulling some stuffing from an old pillow that we didn't need anymore that I just have. In my craft stash, I pull stuffing from this for a lot of things. It's like half gone by now, but I just keep using it until it's gone. Um, it's way cheaper to just buy a cheap pillow at the store and pull the stuffing out of it than to buy the batting. Just FYI, you've probably heard that before in other DIYs, but just in case you didn't, there's a hot tip for you. So I'm just using a little bit of hot glue to help that stuffing stay in place here on my frame. I just want to make more of like a little like padded type frame. <laughs> and then I'm going to use some felt to cover that. I try to use the felt with the adhesive on the back first, but it was just a little too small. So I found another black piece here. It's a bigger one. It's actually glitter on the other side, but I just wanted the plain black. The glitter is pretty too, but I'm not a glitter girl. You guys know that. So I just flipped it over and then I just went ahead and hot glued all of the edges around. I did go ahead and snip some of the edges to make sure that it just folded nicely around the frame here. And it turns into a nice little padded um, canvas type thing for me to work on. I do want to thank you guys because we did pass 8,000 subscribers, which I am really excited about. You guys know that I only post when I have time. I don't have a specific schedule or anything. Being a stay-at-home mom, I just have to film whenever I get a chance. It's getting, it feels like it's less and less now that Brie is able to crawl around and get into everything. <laughs> Um, but I'm trying my best to get videos out for you as often as I can. And of course, I will leave a little clip of Brie at the end of the video. I love to do that so you guys can see her progress and just how she's growing. She has started to crawl like crazy. I believe I mentioned this before, but we actually stopped doing physical therapy because... <laughs> She just, her separation anxiety was just through the roof and it was just making it a thousand times worse. She has gone, you know, turned a 180 since we quit going there. We only went there like three times, but it was affecting her so badly that we just said, it's okay. She's, her progress is fine. Um, you know, ever since she's been home, she just took off her, her anxiety went way down she is perfectly happy and she started crawling on her own. She is all over the place into everything. <laughs> but also, um, she, she loves, 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 loves to walk. She obviously can't walk yet on her own, but it's like her favorite thing in the world is to practice walking. So she got a walker from her grandpa and um, she absolutely loves, loves, loves it. I take her outside and just have her walk back and forth behind our apartment in the grass, and she just loves it. So I put a little clip of that at the end of the video. So as you can see, I just hot glued the whole back because the back didn't fit back in because it was a little too bulky after I put in all that stuffing and the felt and everything. The felt is also from Arteza. Um, so you can check that out on the site if you like to. They have some adhesive felt that you can just take off the sticker on the back, which is really, really nice, but it just didn't fit. It didn't, it would have fit if I didn't have all the stuffing, but I wanted the stuffing so that I could kind of poke the needle part 
or what is it like the pin part of it down in there if I needed to if it was sticking out a little far so what I did is I actually have tons of jewelry tons and tons of my grandma's jewelry um but I just picked out some of my favorite pieces that I thought would look really pretty together a bunch of them are like earrings and um a lot of them are also just pins um but so so beautiful it's like oh my goodness it's just gorgeous like vintage jewelry um so I just picked out several pieces and I just made the shape of a heart I just did the outline first and hot glued those down I just try to put a tiny bit of hot glue on the high points like on the pin um if there was a pin on it a lot of these were pins I just put the glue on there um just you know I didn't want it showing through at all I want it to look super classy and like vintage um and I just think it turned out so gorgeous and then I filled in the whole thing um it's probably it might be just me because it was stuff that belonged to my grandma but this is really special to me and it I just think it turned out so beautiful you really cannot see like the detail and the um you know kind of the sparkle and everything in the video this is just a phone camera so <laughs> it does not do it justice but I just think it torn turned out gorgeous this might not be everyone's style okay I'll stop rambling now you get the idea I hot glued everything down <laughs> And that's it. That's all I did for this one. If you didn't see my community post, I will be doing a giveaway when we get to 10,000 subscribers. So make sure if you like this video to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. Share the video if you think your friends and family would like it too. And all that good stuff so we can get to 10,000 subscribers and do that giveaway. I usually do two winners. So keep that in mind. A better chance for you to win. So Arteza sent me these letters for a letter board and I kind of never jumped on that bandwagon I guess with the letter boards so I didn't even have one. I know I could have made one but I didn't have all the materials so I just ran out to Walmart and got this one for like six dollars. It's actually really big. Um, it's not like my favorite look but it's okay I might paint it later or something but I still think it turned out cute these letters are a little shiny for me I would say um, but they are still cute they're just the silver and gold they're very metallic um, but I think it turned out cute anyway um, this is probably more someone else's style than mine but just figured I would show you how it looked um, it is really pretty, especially when I put it with all of my pumpkins and everything. It kind of tones it down a little bit and makes it look a little more farmhouse. But these are the two DIYs that I had for you today. The second one's not really a DIY, but I just wanted to show you those letters. And I will have those um, linked down below as well, that whole site. Um, but this is how the heart turned out. I think it's just gorgeous. Let me know what you guys think. Um, leave me your comments down below. Let me know which one was your favorite. There you go. Good and, job. Um, here's Brie walking. Oh, my goodness. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Yay. You're doing it. Good job. There she goes. Good job. Good job. Yeah, you're doing it. <laughs> Don't go down the hill. <laughs>